You guys, this is like a landmark in our family. Oh my gosh, this makes me so sentimental. <gasps> Julie, these look amazing. Okay, what do you guys think of Abby and Julie's dinner? Mm -hmm. The best enchiladas. Julie won't even eat her own meal. She doesn't like enchiladas. You don't like anything. Julie's becoming a very picky eater. <laughs> Not cool. I was so tired today. I said, Abby, Julie, will you guys make dinner? These look really good. They're good, but they're hot. Me and Russell are wearing Russell clothes. See? We want to be best buddies, but we're getting a little mad here and because he won't give me his shoes and... Guess what? I learned how to ride a bike with no training wheels. Come here, I'll show you. Look, they used to have training wheels, but we take them off forever. Eve, I think your helmet is getting a little too small. Do you need a new one? That is much better. Okay, now we're gonna put on her Energizer LED light on. I'm ready to ride. So it's a summer day, things are winding down, and we're gonna go on a fun family bike ride. And we're gonna take advantage of our Energizer LED headlamps. These things were super handy last night when we went on a bike ride. Yeah, we, we started the bike ride at around, like right about now where the sun is just going down and it's like glaring in your eyes. And then by the time we got home, it was super dark. And, and I was like, that's not fun. We can't do that with the kids. The kids need to be able to have some light on them. So we've strapped these LED lights to all of the helmets and we plan on just riding all night tonight. Eve has something very special to show you. You guys, this is like a landmark in our family. Getting rid of the car seats is one. It's huge. Getting rid of car seats is huge. We're not quite there yet. We're still in booster seats. We're out of diapers. You guys, none of my kids have training wheels. Eve, show us your magic. Go. You are speedy, speedy fast! <laughs> you okay? Good thing you're wearing Russell's play clothes, huh? These headlights are really cool too because they adjust where they go so we can adjust it so it's shining just ahead of her or if she needs to see further down the road she can move that where she wants. She doesn't need it right now obviously but as we get further into the night on our bike ride she's definitely gonna need it. Oh my gosh, this makes me so sentimental. <gasps> oh, Abby, me... you're the one who needs to watch where you're going. You're older. Go tell her you're sorry. I'm so sorry. You okay? You know, when you fall off your bike, you gotta just get back up there. Try again, okay? Part of the rite of passage, you have to fall and cry. Once. You do. You have to fall and cry and scrape up at least once. But look, Aww. it's still working. Your light's still on. Your light's still working. Let's put your light back on. Riding off into the sunset. These headlamps have been super useful this summer. If you guys want to have more information on them, I have a link down below. Thank you, Energizer, for sponsoring this video. I think we found Eve. I think she's hiding because she knows she's in trouble. I am so sorry to be vlogging, <laughs> looking like a house. sweaty mess like this, but Eve's been missing. I found her! <laughs> for 30 minutes. Come out. 
found dead skin. She found dead skin. Come out. Dead skin. Get out from underneath my bed. Right now. Dead skin everywhere. I write that song. You wrote that song, Dead Skin? <laughs> you're gonna have to write, I'm dead now because you're in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. You're going straight to bed and you don't get dessert today. We're all going to go out and get a cookie. And play a family game. Eve, you cannot be in my room and do that. The cotton balls. Should be in there. I don't have any. Will you go in your bathroom and get some? Russell, go take these and throw them in the garbage can. We had family dinner and... I was looking and looking and looking for Eve, and I was like, why isn't Eve at the dinner table yet? She usually comes to dinner as soon as I call her. And then I go looking outside. We've been looking for 30 straight minutes for her, and I was starting to get worried. And I was like, okay, we're going to start calling around in the neighborhood, and if I can't find Eve in the next 20 minutes, I'm calling the police. And then I found this. You only got a little gist of it on camera. All of the discipline takes place off camera. But one of the consequences is she will not be getting her nails painted for a solid month. And that's like her favorite thing is to have me do her nails. And she's going to have to go without for a month until she learns that she's not old enough to do this yet by herself. All right, verdict is in. We saved the floor. It came off the tile okay. But I think my rug is totaled. But aren't you glad it happened that way and not the other way around? Well, it came off the tile okay. Why not? Aren't you glad? I'm glad it came off the tile and... and so you have to look at the bright side. <sighs> Thank you, Sherry. The tile is good and it would have been a lot more expensive than to replace at most a hundred dollar rug. It's not a hundred dollars, yeah. Not that expensive. Okay. Okay, you can tell her to come here. <sighs> come sorry. here. Come here. Sorry, Mom. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for um making a mess and I am more upset that you came in my room when you knew you weren't supposed to. And you got into my things that you knew were not yours. That makes me more upset than making a mess. Because messes happen, but you were sneaking. And then you hid instead of telling me the truth. I was just really sorry, and I didn't mean to do it. And then I said I shouldn't have done this idea. You knew that it was a bad idea? Yeah. You're still going to have the consequence of not having your nails done for a month. You understand that? Yes. yes. And I still, I still want to buy you one of the other rugs. You still want to buy me a new rug? Maybe you can do some extra chores to help the, with the money. Um, Mom. It's a deal. Give me a hug. Um, Mom. <laughs> can I help you too to get paid? Because I want a lot of money. You. I called. Okay, I need some time alone. I need some space. My kids have helped me finish raising myself. I swear, just because you turn 18 does not mean you're a full grown mature adult. There's nothing magic about the number 18. I think having kids has helped finish raise me because it makes me focus more on controlling myself than controlling them. And it is so hard to do. <laughs> any of you guys thought I was losing by a lot, joke's on you, I'm winning because I'm trying to get the lowest score possible. <laughs> Let's sit here. Um, yeah, good job. I think you have, does he have one more? No. All right, so let's take your sixes. 